This is the first one of a series of interviews conducted on the Rural Development Portfolio Analysis of GIZ. Rolf, you are one of the independent consultants used for these analysis, and you went to Bosnia-Herzegovina to look at a project on stimulating entrepreneurship in the agriculture sector there. Before you give us your findings from your evaluation, maybe you can tell us a little bit the cornerstones of the project itself. The objective was to enhance production in the fields of uh, food and vegetable um, uh, production in two areas of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The main, say, in interventions to achieve this objective were to uh, support the rural producers with seeds and seedlings through the uh, development of uh, privately run tree nurseries. The other was to um, support the development of two producer marketing groups, a uh, kind of a cooperatives uh, where farmers themselves are members and uh, which have to survive on, on the market. You mentioned already that you looked at different cooperatives uh, in the process. And from looking at your report here, um, there is mentioning in there that one of them actually did very well and the other one almost collapsed. Uh, maybe you can give us a little bit of detail, maybe what you think what actually caused this. It was interesting because during the uh, project implementation, the one cooperative which is about to collapse performed very, very well. They managed to enhance their sales um, uh, within a very short time, uh, almost uh, by a factor of four, while the other started very, very slow. In the end, it turned uh, upside down. And the reasons for the downfall of one of the properties were mainly management uh, difficulties. Uh, the director did not manage to uh, obtain outstanding uh, debts with, uh, with buyers. So uh, a large number of producers didn't get paid. And secondly, he used the cooperative uh, for his own uh, purposes. He built up a, uh, separately a cooperative with the same name um, that he ran on his own uh, later on. So basically, it was all about mismanagement. While the other cooperatives, which started slow, really capacitated on all the um, on all the trainings they obtained and all the, the advice they got from short-term experts, um, gradually expanded their production, um, uh, gradually uh, opening up markets uh, in neighboring countries, even lately in Western European countries and which always maintained a very democratic style of, of leadership. So all the members uh, had, had their say, and I think this also caused them to, to rather opt for a cautious way of development. There's also mentioning in the report that there's quite a narrow focus on, on beneficiaries or a small number of beneficiaries in a way. So that's also a little bit of going along with the criticism that you just had that uh, someone is using the, the initiative of the project to actually uh, use it as a springboard to, to launch off their own activity. If you look at the content, uh, concept there, does that connect to actually the still lacking state structures in a post-conflict scenario and what could maybe been done differently? I mean, the, the uh, program zero in on just two uh, cooperatives in order to ensure that what they do is really uh, of quality. Um, so under different circumstances, we have to uh, remind ourselves that by the time the project started, Bosnia and Herzegovina faced, faced uh, a double transformation uh, process, one from uh, a formerly socialist country to a more market-oriented country, and the second was building up uh, a completely destroyed uh, country after the Bosnian uh, war in the 1990s. Talking about groups, 
There were also women groups a part of the project and the approach as far as I understand was actually based on a, on a somewhat old-fashioned gender women group approach. Still it was very successful. Why do you think that is? Uh, women especially uh, from Muslim communities were not used to going out to have their own business and, and so on. So um, from that angle it was uh, a, a useful approach in the sense that it really provided women um, a, a venue towards uh, generating uh, more income, towards going outside of uh, their uh, family uh, family areas and, and their community and gradually uh, develop their entrepreneurial and agricultural uh, skills. Now there are 48 uh, women groups all around, uh, all over Bosnia and Herzegovina with a total membership of 4,000. And also what also uh, counted quite a lot is that, these, that this network had a strong, strong leadership, one that was really committed in, um, in, in developing uh, the capacities of, of the women. Talking about the achievements, um, the project had launched off social initiatives for to improve the social situation the life in the in the community especially for youngsters and you found that after they had started actually the the migration off to the cities or to other parts of the world had actually uh, stopped so one can say that the project was successful in, in in that why do you think that is and what is there to learn for other projects Social life has been enhanced through uh, a myriad of uh, social and cultural um, and also education activities um, with the support of the project. Not much money was really needed for, for this, uh, but they encountered a lot of enthusiasm. One part of the young people who really uh, conducted these, these activities and one part of those who were visited to music shows Rhetoric shows and, and so on. The lesson to be learned for future projects would really be to, if you uh, deal with uh, young people and uh, with returnees, uh, do not only look at uh, the aspect of income generation, but also look at the look at an uh, attractive social and cultural life. One more thing about evaluations is that they tend to look at the implementation obviously but some of the uh, things we're looking at we hear with the donor platform we want to say something to the donors how they can actually um, move forward more easily in actually putting projects or larger programs together what is your message in terms of the women group in terms of the youngsters how would you put the more overall approach together to make um, projects successful from the onset of actually designing them I think it is important to draw upon um, experiences you have gathered so far. There was a, a previous uh, project funded by SDC, which um, dealt with providing immediate uh, assistance to the region. And this approach, or the, the approach of the uh, project we have been, uh, we have evaluated, drew upon uh, these experiences. They, for instance, they realize that there is potential in um, vegetables and, and uh, food uh, production. Uh, they realize that um, it is not done with just uh, providing immediate assistance, but really develop the productive uh, capacities. So that would be my message built upon the experiences gathered previously. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure.